Good morning, kids. Welcome to another Kingdom for Kids video. I am so excited for this week's lesson. Today we are going to be talking about the Israelites just after God led them across the Red Sea when they grumble and complain because they don't have any food. We find the story in the second book of the Bible, Exodus, in chapter 16. How many of you guys get really hungry after school? I think I asked my mom every day for snacks, and I often complained about being hungry or wanting something to eat that my parents told me I couldn't have because it was too unhealthy. I'm sure you guys complain to your parents about being hungry or because you don't like the food you have. Well, in today's story, that's what the Israelites were doing. They were complaining because they didn't have any food. Maybe you guys remember the story where God brought the Israelites out of Egypt where they were slaves and then parted the Red Sea so that the Israelites could get through and leave the Egyptians behind. Well, after this, the Israelites came to a desert where there wasn't any food, so they complained to Moses and Aaron. Exodus chapter 16 verse 3 talks about this and says, The Israelites said to them, If not only we had died by the Lord's hand in Egypt, there we sat around pots of meat and ate all the food we wanted. But you have brought us out into this desert to starve this entire assembly to death. Those are some harsh words. They accused Moses and Aaron of trying to kill them by bringing them to where there was no food. The people of Israel forgot all about the terrible things that God brought them out of. So instead of being thankful for what he had done, they wished they were back in Egypt. Then God told Moses that he would provide for the people, so he said he would make bread fall from heaven like rain. This bread is what we call manna. That's so cool. But God said he would do this every day except for the last day of the week, which was the Sabbath, when they were supposed to be resting. God told them that each morning they were supposed to go out and get as much food as they needed for the day, but not any extra. Except for the sixth day, they were supposed to collect an extra for the seventh, the Sabbath, so that they could rest. God heard the Israelites complaining, and instead of giving them the punishment they deserved for not trusting in God to provide for them, God gave them manna. The Israelites should have remembered that God brought them out of Egypt and been thankful instead of complaining. God has also given us far more than we deserve. He has saved us from our sin by sending Jesus to die on the cross for us so that we can be in heaven forever with him. Whenever we find ourselves complaining, we need to remember what God has done for us and be thankful for it. Let's see what Jimmy and Mr. Alfred are doing today. Mr. Alfred, do you have these cookies? They have Smarties in them. Uh, let me check. It doesn't look like it, Jimmy. I'm sorry. No! Oh, I wanted these cookies so bad. Uh, what's so special about those cookies? Don't you already have a favorite? I do, but I want these ones this time. All my friends have these cookies with Smarties, and I feel left out. Why can't I have the fancy cookies, Mr. Alfred? This is the worst. I might as well have no cookies at all. It sounds like you're a little jealous. No, I'm not, Mr. Alfred. I just want to eat different cookies. Well, it doesn't sound like you're thankful for the cookies that you already have. I guess... I guess I'm not being thankful. I just want to fit in with my friends. That's understandable, Jimmy. But we also don't want to forget about the good things we have now. We don't need cookies to be happy. I guess I shouldn't be using cookies to make me happy. You're going to tell me that Jesus is supposed to make me happy, aren't you? You guessed it. God gave us the greatest gift. That is Jesus dying on the cross for our sins. So we can be thankful for that and have joy even when other things make us not happy. That's a good reminder. But sometimes it's very hard to remember that. That's true. But when we feel like complaining, we should always turn to God and be thankful for what he has done for us. Yay! I guess I can just be thankful for the cookies I have. Cookies! 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 Thanks, Jimmy and Mr. Alfred. Just like Jimmy learned, we need to be thankful for all that God has done for us, because it is so much greater than anything else we might complain about. Because of what he has done for us, we can still be joyful. However, in our Bible story today, the Israelites show us how easy it is to forget what God has done. Right after God gave them food in the desert, they leave there and go to a different place. But in this place, there isn't any water. And once again, they complain and beg Moses for water. Again, they forgot all that God had done for them. 
This shows us how easily we fall into forgetting what God has done for us and start complaining. Thankfully, we have the Holy Spirit reminding us of God's grace towards us and all that He has done. And we can be thankful. I hope you have a great week. Bye.